Welcome to Maths Companion. Let us recall what we have learned in the last video. We have learned the square of any fraction is not 2. The diagonal of a square of side 1 cannot be expressed as a fraction. The approximate value of root 2 is 1.41. The approximate value of root 3 is 1.73. There was a homework. Let us check the answer now. In the picture, the square on the hypotenuse of the topmost right triangle is drawn. Calculate the area and the length of a side of the square. We have to find length of a side of the square and its area. Let us give a name like this. Consider triangle ABC. It's a right angle triangle and AC is its hypotenuse. We know hypotenuse square equal to B square plus altitude square. Therefore, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square or AC equal to root of AB square plus BC square. AB is 1 meter, BC is also equal to 1 meter. Therefore, this can be written as root of 1 square plus 1 square. 1 square is 1. Therefore, this can be written as root of 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, AC equal to root of 2. Now, look at triangle ACD. It is also a right angle triangle and AD is its hypotenuse. Therefore, we can say AD equal to root of AC square plus CD square. AC is root 2. Therefore, AC square is root 2 square or 2. And CD is 1. Therefore, CD square is equal to 1. So, this can be written as root of 2 plus 1 or root 3. Now, look at triangle ADE. It is also a right angle triangle and AE is its hypotenuse. Therefore, we can say a equal to root of AD square plus D square. AD is root 3. Therefore, AD square is root 3 square or that is equal to 3. And DE equal to 1. Therefore, D square equal to 1. So, this can be written as root of 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, this is equal to root 4 and that is equal to 2. Now look at triangle AEF. It is also a right angle triangle and AF is its hypotenuse. Therefore, AF equal to root of A e square plus EF square. A e is 2. Therefore, A e square is 4. EF is 1. EF square is 1. Therefore, AF can be written as root of 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Therefore, AF equal to root 5. Now, AF is a side of the square. Therefore, side of the square is equal to root 5 meters. How can we find the area of the square? We know area of a square is side square. That is root 5 square. And root 5 square is 5. Therefore, area of the square is 5 square meters. Now, let us do the remaining problems on page 49. A square is drawn on the altitude of an equilateral triangle of side 2 meters. What is the area of the square? What is the altitude of the triangle? What are the lengths of the other two sides of the triangle shown below? Let us give a name for the triangle. Let this point be D. We have to find the area of this square. Area of a square is side square. So, to find the area of this square, we need to find the length of one side of this square. Here, CD is a side of the square. So, it is enough to find the length of CD. Given that ABC is an equilateral triangle, therefore, all the three sides are equal. AC is 2 meters. So, AB is also 2 meters and BC is also 2 meters. This is a square, therefore angle D is 90 degree. That means CD is perpendicular to AB. Therefore CD bisect AB 
and CD bisect angle at C. It's an equilateral triangle, therefore all the three angles are 60 degree. So angle A is 60, angle B is 60, angle C is 60. Therefore, this angle, angle ACD is 30 degree. Now we know CD bisect AB and the length of AB is 2 meters. Therefore, AD is 1 meter and BD is also 1 meter. Now look at triangle ADC. It's a right angle triangle because this angle is 90 degree. We know AC is 2 meters and AD is 1 meter and altitude square is equal to hypotenuse square minus b square or cd square equal to ac square minus ad square or we can say cd equal to root of ac square minus ad square ac is 2 and ad is 1 so this can be written as root of 2 square minus 1 square 2 square is 4 1 square is 1 so this can be written as root of 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3. Therefore, CD equal to root of 3. That is, this length is root 3 meters. So, we got one side of the square. Now, we can find the area of the square. Area of the square equal to side square or root 3 square. What is square of root 3? 3. Therefore, area of the square is 3 square meters. Now, we need to find the altitude of the triangle. CD is the altitude of the triangle and we got it as root 3 meters. Therefore, altitude of the triangle equal to root 3 meters. Now, we have to find the other two sides of this triangle. Actually, this is triangle ADC itself. It is rotated and placed like this. Or we can see AC is 2 meters. This is also 2 meters. It's an equilateral triangle, therefore angle A equal to 60 degree, this is also 60 degree. Angle ACD is 30 degree, this angle is also equal to 30 degree. That means one side and two angles at the end of this triangle are equal to one side and two angles at the end of this triangle. So the triangles are equal, therefore the remaining measures are also equal, that is the angles and sides of these two triangles are equal. Here side opposite to 30 degree angle is 1 meter and side opposite to 60 degree angle is root 3 meter. That means this is 1 meter and this is root 3 meter or the other two sides of this triangle are 1 meter and root 3 meters. Next problem. We have seen in class 8 that any odd number can be written as the difference of two perfect squares. Using this, draw squares of area 7 and 11 square centimeters. To draw a square, we need the length of one side of the square. Here we have to draw squares of area 7 and 11 square centimeters. To draw the square of area 7 square centimeters, the side should be root 7 centimeters. We know 4 square minus 3 square equal to 7. Therefore, draw a right triangle with hypotenuse 4 and one of the perpendicular sides 3. Let it be the altitude. Then, we know base square equal to hypotenuse square minus altitude square or base square equal to 4 square minus 3 square or base square equal to 7. When the square of the base is 7, the length of the base is root of 7. So, to get a root 7, we can draw a right triangle with hypotenuse 4 cm and altitude 3 cm. Then the base is root 7 cm. Once we got root 7, we can draw the square. Similarly, 6 square minus 5 square equal to 11. Therefore, if we draw a right triangle of hypotenuse 6 cm and altitude 5 cm, the base will be root 11 cm. Using the base as one side of the square, we can draw the square easily. Let us see how to draw the squares. First of all, let us draw a line without any measurement. Now from 1 and draw a perpendicular.
and mark a point 3 cm away from A. Let it be B. Now join AB. AB is 3 cm. Now take 4 cm in the compass and draw an arc from B. Mark the point of intersection of this arc with the first line. Let it be C. Join BC. BC is 4 cm. Since BC is 4 cm and AB is 3 cm, AC equal to root 7 cm. Now it is enough to draw a square with AC as one of the side. For that let me draw a perpendicular through A. Now take AC in the compass and draw an arc. Mark the point of intersection of this arc with the perpendicular line. Let it be M. Now join AM. Now take AC in the compass and draw an arc from M and again draw an arc from C. The point of intersection is the fourth vertex of the square. Let it be N. Join MN and join CN. The length of AC is root 7 cm and it is one side of the square. Therefore, area of this square is 7 square centimeters. Now let us draw a square of area 11 square centimeters. Let us draw a line at first. Through the point A, draw a perpendicular to this line. Now mark a point 5 centimeter away from A. Let it be B. Join AB. Now take 6 cm in the compass and draw an arc from B. Mark the point of intersection, let it be C. Join BC, BC is 6 cm. BC is 6 cm and AB is 5 cm. AC square equal to BC square minus AB square, that is 6 square minus 5 square. Therefore, AC square is 11 and AC is root 11. Now, it is enough to draw a square with AC as one of its sides. For that, draw a perpendicular to the line AC through A. Take AC in the compass and draw an arc. Mark the point of intersection of this arc with the perpendicular line, let it be M. Join AM. Take AC in the compass and draw an arc from M. And again draw an arc from C. The point of intersection is the fourth vertex of the square. Join MN and join CN. Since AC is a root 11, the area of this square is 11 cm squares. Next problem. Explain two different methods of drawing a square of area 13 square centimeters. We know 7 square minus 6 square equal to 13. Therefore, when we draw a right triangle of hypotenuse 7 centimeters and altitude 6 centimeters, the base will be root 13 centimeters. Using that base as one side, we can draw a square of area 13 square centimeters. Also, we know 2 square plus 3 square equal to 4 plus 9 and that is equal to 13. Therefore, if we draw a right triangle with base 3 centimeters and altitude 2 centimeters, the hypotenuse will be root 13 centimeters. Using that hypotenuse as one side, we can draw a square of area 13 square centimeters. Let us see how to draw it. First of all, draw a line. Let one end of the line be A. Through the point A, draw a perpendicular to this line. Mark a point B. 6 cm away from this point. 
join A to B. The length of AB is 6 centimeters. Now take 7 cm in the compass and draw an arc. Mark the point of intersection of this arc with the first line. Let it be C. Join BC. Length of BC is 7 cm. Now since AB is 6 cm and BC is 7 cm, AC equal to root of BC square minus AB square or root of 7 square minus 6 square or root of 49 minus 36 or root of 13. That means the length of AC is root of 13 centimeters. Now let us draw a square with AC as one side. For that extend BA. Take AC in the compass and draw an arc on this perpendicular line. Mark the point of intersection, let it be M. Now take AC in the compass. Now take the length of AC in the compass and draw arcs from M and C. The point of intersection is the fourth vertex of the square. Let it be N. Join MN and CN. AC is root 13 centimeters. Therefore, the area of this square is 13 square centimeters. Now, let us look at the second method. Draw a line of 3 centimeter at first. Draw a perpendicular through one end of this line. Let us draw the perpendicular through the point A. Mark a point 2 centimeter away from A. Let it be B. Now the length of AB is 2 centimeters. Join BC. It is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Since AB is 2 centimeters and AC is 3 centimeters, BC equal to root of 2 square plus 3 square or root of 4 plus 9 or root of 13. Now we can draw a square with BC as one side. For that, let us draw a perpendicular through the point B. Take the length of BC in the compass and draw an arc. Mark the point of intersection. Let it be E. Now, length of BE is equal to root 13. Take the length of BC in the compass and draw arcs from E and C. The point of intersection is the fourth vertex of the square. Join CD and DE. The length of BC is root 13 centimeters and it is one of the sides of this square. Therefore, the area of this square is 13 square centimeters. In the 49th page, we will see the same thing. Any homework? Root 2 and the same thing. 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 Root